Hi, this video is going to explain to you how to enroll in the Math 105 and 105 lab. You could also use this to enroll in Math 150A, 150B, or Math 103, or really any math class that requires a lab. You can definitely use this video to help you with that as well. Okay, so before we get started, make sure to log into your portal and go and follow the steps to get to your shopping cart. It should look like this, which is appearing on your screen. Once you've got to this place, then you're gonna go ahead and manually search for your math class. On the left-hand side, go ahead and click where there is a button that says search. This window will pop up where it says class search. Make sure that the term is appropriate to the term that you're planning to enroll in this class. So I am using the spring semester 2021 as my example, but you may use this you know, for summer, for fall, or for a different spring semester. Under subject slash department, in this down bar, go ahead and search for math. Always check the box that says show open classes only and click search. Now you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the class that you're looking for. I'm using Math 105 as my example, but feel free to look for the other classes that is appropriate for you and the advisor that recommended you that class. Once you've located the class you want to enroll, go ahead and click on the green button next to the class number. For Math 105, this class is gonna be offered four or three days out of the week. And here are the days and times for those classes. Go ahead and look through all of these options and determine which day and time best fits your schedule. Once you've located the class that you desire, then on the left-hand side, you're gonna go ahead and click on the green plus sign. You're going to scroll down and here in the class notes it'll tell you the five digit code for the math 105 lab here in particular it does show two different options so it says the must enroll in math 105 lab and then it gives you this five digit number or it gives you another five digit number i recommend you write both of them down because sometimes one of the labs may be closed. So instead of having to go back to the search option, you could just look at your notes that you've written down and find the five digit code for the other lab. I'm gonna go ahead and write both of those down on a scratch piece of paper that I have handy. Go ahead and click next. And then you'll see that the Math 105 lecture has been added to your shopping cart. Now you're not finished yet. In order to enroll in this class, you should be able to also add the lab with it. If you don't add both the lecture and the lab, then you will not be able to enroll in this class. So now that you've written down those five digit numbers, go ahead and put one of those five digit codes in here on the left hand side where it says enter class number. There is a small box and go ahead and type in that five digit code that you wrote down. Once you do that, go ahead and click enter. You always wanna make sure that the class is open. So here it'll tell you a green circle, which means that it's open. And then here it'll also tell you the days and times of the lab being available. Then you're gonna go ahead and click next. And then you should have both the 105 lecture and the lab added to your shopping cart. Once they've added, make sure to see that they're both open. If there is two green circles, then the class is open. If you see a blue box, then the class is closed. If for the Math 105 lab, there is a blue box here, then you could go ahead and add the second code for the second lab option. Okay. 
So if this class is closed, then you could just trash the one that was closed and leave the lab that is open. You could also double check to see if they match the codes for the labs in the lecture by clicking into the Math 105 class. You scroll down and it will also let you know here again for the five digit codes. So you could just double check that you wrote both of them correctly and click next. And if they match up, then you could go ahead and click proceed to step two of three. Because I'm not able to enroll at this time, I cannot show you the remainder of steps, but after that, it will show you to confirm classes and you'll click finish enrolling. You should be able to get two check marks on the status side, which indicates that you were able to enroll in those two classes. If you get an X in any of those uh, confirmation classes, then just know that either the class was closed, the class, was not the appropriate or corresponding lab for the lecture, or you may have gone over units. For freshmen, the 17 units is the max that you all can enroll in. So double check how many classes you've enrolled in up to that point. And if you add all of them together, if it goes over 17, then that might be another reason why the class is not going through. But hopefully, with all this video, it's showing you the steps everyone can able to enroll in their Math 105 and lab class or any other math class that with a corresponding lab. Hopefully this video was very informational, but also understand there is an advisor that you can contact if you have any other questions. Just refer to the email of the advisor who sent you the course recommendations so that you can get extra help from them. All right, well, this is it for the video. Take care.